I'm Chris Balkum, Extension Peanut Specialist for Auburn University. I'm here at the Wiregrass Research Extension Center in Headland, Alabama. We're standing in the peanut variety test that we have here. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about these different varieties that we have in the test this year. Uh, I'm really going to just focus on the varieties kind of that we have out and some of these newer ones to come that we can uh, uh, see out there in growers fields there currently and what's to come and kind of some of the aspects of each of these varieties that what we've seen recently with them. Uh, here behind me is 18RU. Uh, this is a new variety from uh, Bill Branch uh, over at University of Georgia. Um, it's a uh, Hollow Lake variety, uh, mid-season, 140 day peanut. Uh, it's it's a, a pretty good yielding variety. Uh, it really does better in the irrigated test than it does in the dry land test is what we've seen with it the last couple of years. As we move on and focus on some of the other varieties, our next variety that we wanna show is uh, ACI 3321. This is Dr. Kim Moore's variety. Uh, from over in Tifton. Uh, you can see here we have a, a, a deep green foliage, a lot of vine with this variety. Uh, it's a, it's a, overall a really good disease package, uh, good virus resistance. Um, you, have, you haven't probably heard a lot about this variety, but it is the same cross as AUMPL17 is, uh, which you will see beyond it right here. AUMPL17 is uh, Dr. Charles Chin's uh, variety uh, from Auburn University, our peanut breeder uh, there on campus. Uh, this variety is a high oleic variety. It's probably the best disease package in a high oleic variety that's out there currently available in the marketplace right now. If you've got a lot of disease pressure, it's really going to stand out and uh, rise to the top. Uh, next to it is Tiff NV. Um, it's a high oleic variety. This is Dr. Corley Holbrook's variety uh, from USDA ARS over in Tifton. Uh, you can see this dark green foliage. If it's out there with any other varieties, there's no doubt about it. It's gonna be the darkest, greenest foliage out there. Uh, but good virus resistance in this variety. Uh, its main characteristic is its root knot nematode resistance that's bred into this variety. So uh, that's a plus for those that are in uh, some nematode prone soils. Our next variety is Georgia 14N. Uh, this is Bill Branch's variety. This is his nematode resistant variety. Um, it's one that we've had out a few years, but um, th this would be the variety that would be in direct comparison to the TIF NV, which you just saw. Uh, it's a little bit smaller vine size, uh, not as much canopy with it, uh, but, but definitely the only two varieties that we have out there right now, in addition to TIF Guard, which has been around for, for years uh, with peanut root knot nematode resistance. As we move to the next variety here, we have Georgia 12Y. Uh, this is a variety from uh, Dr. Bill Branch in Georgia. Uh, long season variety, this is the only long season variety that we have currently available in the marketplace. 150, 55 day peanut, uh, grows a lot of vine, uh, thick canopy, uh, really big limb diameter size. Probably one of the uh, excellent disease resistance, virus resistance. Uh, probably the biggest downfall of this variety is uh, sometimes picking. You got so much vine there, uh, you got a lot of moisture in those vines and typically the uh, peanuts will actually dry down faster than the vines will. Every now and then we have typically a little higher LSK rate there uh, as we uh, go to shelling these because we just can't really thrash them through that combine because they're still so green. Let's go to the uh, next variety. Uh, just beyond us there would be 09B. Uh, now that's a variety that's been out for a number of years and uh, from Bill Branch, a uh, high oleic variety, but it's still one that's kept through Alabama uh, crop improvement. Dr. Jim Bostic through the seed program uh, continues to increase the seed production of this variety. It's grown all in northern Alabama uh, up on Sand Mountain uh, where they typically have a lot of high oleics up there. Uh, also it carries over into northeast Arkansas and uh, south Missouri. Uh, so it's a, it's a real high yielder up there in that area. Uh, down here, it's a little bit tougher, harsh condition because we have so much disease pressure. Uh, so it's a little harder for that variety to make it here with a disease pressure. We don't have that type of disease pressure up there in the northern end of the state, as well as these other new growing regions in uh, Northeast Arkansas and Missouri. Okay, let's move over here.
here we have Flow Run 331. This is from the University of Florida. This is Dr. Barry Tillman's variety. Uh, this is a hyaluronic as well. Uh, it's an improved disease package over the uh, Tough 511 and 297 that uh, he had in the past years. Uh, it is a better yielding variety. Uh, one of the drawbacks that what we saw with this variety last year was, was the amount of uh, susceptibility to tomato spotted wilt virus. As you can see here in this plot, we can see some of these virus hits out there. Uh, that's alarming for this variety. You know, we've had 06G for a number of years and we're looking for that variety that's going to replace 06G, but it's got to be one with a lot of virus resistance, you know. Uh, even though that's something that's kind of faded away, we see it coming back now recently, and uh, we've got to have a variety that's out there that has a lot of resistance to it. Picking up here with our last variety, Georgia 06G, but certainly not the least variety. This is the variety that's planted still on 80% of the acreage in Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. Uh, Bill Branch bred this variety. The only alarming thing about this variety is we've had it for such a number of years. This variety's been out for 15 years plus. It's dominated the marketplace. It's made the producers uh, really high yields over the years. And that's the reason why we have this peanut variety test now is to continue to look to see, hey, what's gonna be the next top variety? And that's what we're trying to determine, what's gonna take over the acreage. Right now, currently, we don't have one particular variety that's gonna take over all these acres but we have a lot of varieties that have good aspects, good attributes that you can use on your farm to help you. We're just gonna to have to pick and choose those uh, and put them in the right situation.